Hey guys, welcome to Jedi Toy Masters, and in this video, we're going to show you everything that we picked up at New Jersey Toy Show this year. Uh, so let's check out our uh, little experience at the New Jersey Toy Show. Check it out. So this is the first time for us, first time for me, for the boys, and for my brother. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. The baby's going to stay home with mom, and we're going to be uh, driving over now to Parsippany, New Jersey, to New Jersey Toy Con. I wasn't able to go last year, heard it was great. So we're going to check it out, see what we see, and have fun. Right, guys? But no whining. But we, no whining. That's right. If we, the, if we whine, we go home and we don't get toys. Do you concur, Logan? No? Yeah. Uh, All right, so we made it, guys. Is it a big one? It it's a big one, I think so. Are you excited, Blake? Here with Uncle Aaron. What are you hoping to find, Blake? I'm hoping to find the thing that Logan won. What thing that Logan has? Uh, um, the thing that he saw that Lego in. A Lego set? What about you, Logan? What do you want? I want the Darth Vader maker Darth Vader thing. The from episode Vader. 3. From episode 3. Yeah. And Uncle Aaron, what are you looking for? Oh man, anything from my childhood. Like <laughs> Power Rangers. Uncle Aaron wants to find the original Megazord from Power Rangers. So we'll see. Uh, me, I'm, I, I'm all about Star Wars. So yeah. if I can find, actually, you know, I'm on the hunt. If I can get like a, a vintage snow trooper, that's, oh. I really would like a vintage snow trooper, like a decent one that's not yellowed. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what they have. There's Superman and Wonder Woman having lunch. Here we go, guys. Pops. We got pops. Oh, we got. Look at the. Look at that. Look at that. That's the one that we have. Hold on, let me see these. Right off the bat, we got some Power of the Force 2s. Oh, Daddy, look. Yeah, well, that's a cool set. There's Tarkin. Oh, oh, we'll be over there. A lot of loose figs here. Daddy! Oh, we got some vintage stuff in there. Alright, I'm gonna do a lot of cutting because there's so much to see here, so uh, we're gonna do some cuts here. Oh, there he is right there. That's the one I want. The snow Trooper. 15 bucks. Oh, you got some loose guys in here. Oh, hands are broken on that one. Lucy Goosey Chewbacca. Oh, we got Nine Numb. Where's Nine Numb? 175? 175. Who is that? Daddy oh, Ninja man. Turtle. I'm surprised it's even Ninja. Out there. Ninja. This guy over here. Look at some of these little vintage guys out here. Oh, there goes my snow trooper. How much is the snow trooper? 38. Man, that's not bad considering it comes with the card back. Look at the original price, two dollars and forty-eight cents. <laughs> From like key food or something. Daddy, your favorite. Yeah. What do you think so far, buddy? Good. We've literally have only been to one table here. Look at this. This place is huge, and we've only done one table. We're gonna be here a while. We got some 40th anniversary. Gentle. We got Gentle. some vintage collection. Some black oh, series over there, there, but. Well, we're gonna do some digging here in the bin. Yes. These are 15 or less. I can't remember which one. We should have. Careful, careful, careful. We should have taken the Careful. Yeah, I see it. Come on. Oh, these are like minty. I know, these are very minty. In here. Oh, they have you a cool That'll be very careful. That's a cool, uh, cool phasma. So this see, one I got at Burlington Post Office. You see, we don't have this green stuff. <laughs> I love G.I. Joe almost basically as much as I love Star Wars. Maybe even more as far as toys because that's what I grew up on. So anytime I think G. I see G.I. Joe, I go crazy. I had that. I had the bridge layer. Look at that. Look at that. And we got some figs here. 
Hey, Retro Blasting, there's a Bespin loop for you. Oh, let's see. If I find a shipwreck, I may need to buy him. Let's, let's see. The right of might. Hey, Cincy Nerd, this is for you. Retro blasting, first order. These are for you. I have that guy without the blaster, though. Uh huh. These are so nice. Look at how nice that Chewy looks. Yeah. Oh man, these look so good. Pickup of the day. Got myself a snow trooper. I've been wanting one, so pretty happy about that. This place is overwhelming. First toy convention. I'm overwhelmed. This is great. This is my childhood right here. Oh, oh man, I had this. I had this. Look at this guy right here. So we're like in the second room of this toy con. So, man, there's so much. I'm just like overwhelmed. That's like the word of the day. All right, one of my, oh gosh, one of my uh, bucket list items for Star Wars is the B-Wing. And I see one down here. One, one sixteen. Those are the two holy grails right there. G.I. Joe Command Center and Star Wars AT-AT in box. Put some modern and vintage together. Well, 
we were able to pick up some stuff so we're excited about that but the guys are hungry we're tired we were here for a while so we've been here i think like almost four hours but uh new jersey toy con i liked it so this is kind of like a race room they have like race cars and stuff like that it's pretty cool all right so as you can see uh it was a little bit overwhelming i was super excited I forgot to live stream. I was supposed to live stream it on Instagram. If you follow us on Instagram, link is below. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna live stream, I didn't get to do that. I was just so taken aback. My brother, as you saw, was just, we were both just like, just stuff from our childhood and like, you know, G.I. Joe's, which I mentioned, I'm a huge fan of G.I. Joe's. Like if I wasn't so far into Star Wars, G. I, this would probably be a G.I. Joe channel, but um, all my G.I. Joe stuff got lost when I was a kid or given away by my parents. How many of you experienced that as a kid where your parents gave away your stuff? Well, did you guys have fun at the Toy Con? Yeah. New Jersey Toy Con uh, was really cool. I think I said Toy Fair earlier. It's New Jersey Toy Con. I'll link it below as well. They got another one coming up in November, so we're pretty excited about that. We'll probably be back for that as well. Each of them had a $10 uh, budget. I gave myself a little bit more leeway, but you'll see. And uh, the first thing we picked up was for you, Logan. Yeah. What did you find? I found this pinball game. We found this really cool, um, it's actually Sonic the Hedgehog pinball game. It's actually pretty heavy. Uh, it's from 1992 or 93, I think, from Tommy Toys. And look at this thing, he loves pinballs, and this thing, pinball game, and this thing is really cool. It totally works. Five bucks, five bucks we got this guy. Uh, and again, it's really cool, very retro -y. Sonic the Hedgehog. And guys, if you hit the ball here and here, you can try to go in there and you can go in there and that's a base. Yeah, all right. So we got that, which was really, really a cool find. For Mr. Blake over here, a while back, one of his cousins uh, gave him this, this like Power Rangers, what is this called? Ninja Force sword? Yeah. Right? Um, the cool thing about this is that my Blake already had this, so now we have an extra one. But he was always asking me like, oh, I want the attachment, the blaster that attaches to it. And they're kind of hard to find on eBay. So this was a really sweet find because it was specific to him. And he saw it on the table, he wanted it. And it was 10 bucks. So that was his budget right there. 10 bucks, he got this cool blaster that actually comes up. It's actually becomes two toys because it's like a sword. And it comes with a dino charger. And a blaster. And it has a little dino charger thing inside. So it turns into this little. And look, and look. One of the things I was hoping to find, now I'm not a vintage uh, Star Wars collector. I like Star Wars The Vintage Collection, which is a modern line, but um, I, I always wanted a Hoth Snow Trooper. So I actually found a Snow Trooper, and look at this guy. Really, really good condition, actually. I got him for less than $10. I was able to get it down a little bit less than 10, uh, a couple bucks down, and um, it's in great shape. The limbs are pretty sturdy. You know, I, I saw a lot of these at the show in different tables and some of them were very yellow. Some of them were very loosey goosey. You pick them up and you shake them and the legs start shaking. This one's in great shape. It doesn't have the blaster, but that's fine because none of my other <laughs> vintage figures don't have any accessories. I don't know if you guys go to a lot of toy shows but and see a lot of different vendors and the way they pa repackage their things. I love this booth in particular had all of their figures in these little baggies labeled Star Wars. They had G.I. Joe figures as well, all labeled Star Wars like this, and they had them on little racks. She had a box full of more. So I went through them. They were, they were five bucks, these figures. And um, look, with their accessories, this cl clone trooper here has his little blaster. So my brother Aaron, who was with us, and you saw him in the video, but we had this expanded universe. This is like from the Power of the Force, or actually this is Power of the Force era. But this figure in particular, this was, what, 98? Okay, so 98, Star Wars Expanded Universe came, they had these little packs, which they had this like, perf the card backs were a lot thicker and they had like this perforation that you can actually open and it creates like this display. I don't know if you can see that. So we picked up this really cool space trooper, really good condition, it was a great deal. So My brother picked that one. And then, I had another table in like this little bin, and this is actually from Italy. So this is from, it's Kenner, but it's GG Toys, and it's a uh, Italian Han Solo. And I, I got this just, just for the, I mean, just for nostalgia and just for the cool factor. It's an Italian figure. There it says, it says, Guerre Stellari, right there. We also picked up this, this really cool Starfighter. Star 
with, if you open up the cockpit, in great condition, I should say. Uh, I, we love the Clone Wars. And there's uh, yeah. Jedi, um, what's his name? I forgot his name. I think it's Moody, Moody? And, it, and with his lightsaber. And r 2 There's his astromech droid right there, which actually, it's just the head, it's just the head. But, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. And then actually today, at a, at a tag sale, we picked up this, uh, 100 piece box, uh, a uh, puzzle. Star Wars. And it's Anakin Vader. Uh, we know that. What Anakin Sherman bag? Yeah, so we picked this guy up. It's sealed. So we'll probably do this puzzle at some point. So that's everything that we picked up at New Jersey Toy Con uh, this over the weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. Did you go to NJ uh, New Jersey Toy Con? Uh, let us know if you were there. And uh, follow us on Instagram and, and uh, uh, tag us in any photo that you took while you were there or any finds that you got while you were there. So we'd love to check them out as well. So uh, we're gonna now play with some of this stuff and, um, and have some fun. But if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you subscribe, thank you so much. If you haven't, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. We're gonna try to do videos like this at least once a week, put out a video. So please make sure you subscribe and follow us on Instagram as well. We're also on Twitter um, and, uh, and Facebook. So um, thank you again for watching us. May the, the fourth be, be with, with you. you.